Hello friends, it is Monday, and what better way to start a brand new week, whether you watch this in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening, than with devotion together. I love this so much. So we're gonna go to our devotional booklet, 40 Days and 40 Nights, and it tells us that we should go to Exodus chapter 12 and read verses one through 13. So I have my Bible right here. I've got it turned to the front part. Exodus is the second book of the Bible. We've been in Genesis up until this point. Now we're gonna to go to Exodus. I've got it turned to chapter 12, and I've got my eyes on verse one so that I know that I read one through 13. So why don't you guys go ahead, press pause, and read this either out loud by yourself, with your family, with your teacher and your classroom, Whoever you're with right now, press pause and go ahead and read this, okay? I'll be waiting for you. Do you guys know what? I noticed a few things, a few comparisons between everything we just learned in Genesis with Noah, and now some things to keep in mind now here with Moses and the people and the Israelites um, during this time. Just like God was going to take an extreme step with Noah, and gave Noah all the information that he would need to, to um, save himself and his family with the boat, how to make it, da, 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 so on and so forth. He did the same thing with Moses and the Israelites. He was going to do something very extreme because of sin again, but he gave them exactly the right instructions and details to save, to, to protect them and, and for God to save them. Isn't that wonderful? does that for us today. He's given us this whole Bible. This gives us instructions on how to live our life. He gives us the Ten Commandments. He gives us the Holy Spirit. When you feel a little bit um, um, bad about something you've done, when you feel like, oh, that wasn't quite right, or oh, I really don't feel comfortable with what's going on in this situation, that's the Holy Spirit. That's your conscience telling you, oh, we either need to ask for forgiveness we need to speak with someone who maybe has hurt us, or we need to get out of a situation that is dangerous. So even now today, God still gives us what we need. Isn't that wonderful? So the title of our devotion is, What is Passover? Ellie looked at the calendar. The word Passover was close to the word Easter, you know, in those little boxes. I wonder what that is, she thought. God's children worked as slaves in Egypt. God chose Moses to lead his people to their new home. Moses told Pharaoh, God says, let my people go. God sent horrible troubles to the Egyptians in the hopes that they would repent of their sins and turn to him. Pharaoh always said, no, you cannot leave. Then God sent the worst trouble of all. He told Moses that each Israelite family should kill a lamb and pay blood on their door. That night, an angel flew into each Egyptian home to kill the oldest son. When the angel saw blood on the door, he passed over the house of everyone and let them live. Pharaoh told Moses, you and your people leave now. The lamb's blood kept God's people safe. Jesus is the lamb who gave his blood for you. So something to think about. Today and tonight, kind of go over this in your mind. How do Jesus' dying on the cross and Easter go together? Make someone you love an Easter card and tell them that good news, because you know the answer to that, don't you? You know how those things go together. Now let's pray. Lamb of God, thank you for saving us. Amen. Amen. Okay, friends, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.